Who turned off the lights? In one Pennsylvania home, it was a power company regulated by the state. Did the state regulation mean that the power company was subject to constitutional due process requirements? That was the question in Jackson v. Metropolitan Edison Company. Metropolitan Edison Company held a Certificate of Public Convenience from the Pennsylvania Public Utility Commission, giving it the right to provide electricity to York, Pennsylvania, subject to the Commission's regulation. The certificate included the right to discontinue service to any customer who didn't pay his or her bills. Metropolitan cut off Catherine Jackson's electricity due to non-payment. James Dodson, who lived with Jackson, opened a new account with Metropolitan in his name. Shortly thereafter, Dodson left the household. No payments were ever made to Dodson's account. Metropolitan employees visited Jackson looking for Dodson. Jackson asked them to transfer the electric service for the house to Robert Jackson, who turned out to be her 12-year-old son. Four days later, without providing notice, Metropolitan cut off Jackson's electricity again. Jackson sued Metropolitan in federal court under the Civil Rights Act of 1871. She claimed that because she was not given notice and a hearing before her power was cut, Metropolitan's termination of her service was state action that deprived her of property in violation of the 14th Amendment's guarantee of due process of law. Jackson argued that Metropolitan was a state actor because Metropolitan had a monopoly on providing electricity. Metropolitan provided an essential public service, and the Public Utility Commission had authorized Metropolitan to terminate accounts. The District Court granted Metropolitan's motion to dismiss the complaint on the ground that the termination wasn't state action. The United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted certiorari. 